Have you ever taught how NetSuite's allocation schedules work? What is an allocation schedule? Well, an allocation schedule is simply when a business wants to allocate its cost across different businesses, across different departments. And an example of this can be a company comes in to clean, to do cleaning for a business. The, the two departments are on the same floor. And when there is cleaning taking place, they obviously want to split the cleaning cost across the two departments. For example, the administration department and the operations department. In this example, I will show you how that works. So let's jump into NetSuite. Okay, so yeah, I'm in NetSuite. This is our allocation schedule screen. And how I got you is simply by going to transactions, financial, and then create allocation schedule. This is the screen you will see. And I will now create a name for this. I will just call it example schedule. We will say for what subsidiary this is. And that's my example subsidiary. We'll then say the frequency of this. And this is simply, and this is simply uh, when the allocation schedule should run. End of period is usually the one everybody goes for. But for my example, I'm going to select month, monthly, and I'm going to select uh, yesterday's date. So currently it's the 28th of May, and I'm going to select the 27th in order to force the system to pick up my allocation schedule and suggest it. Okay, then, you have the following options. You can remind it forever, meaning this allocation schedule will run forever. And I mean, you're going to get cleaning every single month. So you probably want that reminder to run forever. And if there's any cost in that account, we just want to split it um, across the departments. Um, and that's if you know it's going to run forever. If not, then you can say, okay, it's going to run for the next 12 months. And you put the number 12 in there. You have the ability to say it's a dynamic allocation or a fixed allocation. Fixed allocation is probably the best to go because you can say I'm splitting it by percentage. So the first thing we want to do is say if it impacts this account, then I want to split it across the following departments. So how do I do that? I first go to my source and I'll say I'll enter the account. So I'm going to enter my cleaning account in here. And you can actually select the customer as well if you want to do the impact, impact by customer. And my division, which is my department, I'm going to say any. And my, where, and my warehouse, which is a location, I'm also going to say any. I'm going to add that. So the next thing I want to do is then go to my destination. And this is where I want to post that allocation schedule. So the first thing I want to do is select the account where it should be going. In my case, I actually don't need the account. To me, the division is the most important. So, by, by to do that, because I'm not using the account, I'm going to click on this following button which says, Use Source Credit Account. That means it's the same account that I'm using as the source, and I'm just going to split that. So, I'm going to go to Division, and I'm going to select my Administration Department, add that, and then I'm going to select my Operations Department and add that as well. Okay, so there is my two divisions set up. And then you have this weight. This is very important. And this is how I'm going to split it. So the first thing I need to do is click on the following and say that my values are percentages. So that means that my weight in here is going to be a percentage value. So I wanna split it 50-50 between the two departments. Remember, you can add as many uh, divisions or departments. You can have 10 in here, and you can add, add all of them out in here, and then you can maybe just click on spread even. Normalize just means that it needs to add to the amount of uh, 100. Okay, so then you can just click on that. And that right there, that's my, my allocation scheduled sorted, and I can click on save. Okay, so there's my allocation schedule created now. So what do I want to do next? I actually want to run this allocation schedule. 
So the best way to do that is either you can do it directly from this allocation schedule and click on journal entries, but the way it's, it, I, I would suggest you do it is by going to the actual, your dashboard and go to setup and go onto your reminders portlet. Obviously on your reminders portlet, click on setup and, and make sure that you have this allocations uh, schedules due um, added to your reminders portlet. Okay, so once my once that is created and it's on your on your on your allocation, uh, it's it's now on your reminders portlet. You can now go to allocation schedules due, click on that, and you can now see that the allocation schedules are there. There's um, allocation suggestions that you should be running. So I'm going to go and click on view, and there's my allocation schedule, and I'm going to click on create journal entries, and this will now basically go and do the, the splitting for me. Now, how does it know where to get this from? Well, I had a supply invoice in here and my supply invoice was obviously against that expense account and was for the amount of 6,000. And if I go to my journal that the allocation schedule just picked up, it basically went and said, oh, there was 6,000. And it now took, split it between the two departments, which is my division over there, um, administration and operations, and that means my allocation schedule is created. And that right there is how you split costs between departments using NetSuite's allocation schedules.